Okay, I'm here with Dr. Mark Jansen. He's an associate professor and chief medical officer at UAMS. And you were, as you like to say, a country doc for a while over in Clark County. And we're here at the Rural Health Seminar. During your career, what's the biggest change you've seen in rural health care? Well, the problem with rural care has always been having enough folks to do the job that needs to be done. Back when I started, there were no cell phones. We were full service. We did all the rounds in the hospital. We covered the emergency room on a rotating basis. We saw patients in nursing homes. Uh, we did school physicals. Uh, we did some house calls, but, but I, as I told you earlier, I wouldn't tell uh, anyone in the family that they could say that I'd come by the house, otherwise I'd quit seeing their family. So I think what I've seen over that time is that it's gone from the traditional, the doc does everything for all people all the time, and it started to contract into more segmented areas. Now there are ER doctors. In some small towns there are hospitalists. And there still is the family doctor, but the role has changed more to an outpatient rather than all service. What is the most, in rural healthcare now, what is the most pressing issue, problem, and, and how will that affect the future? I think in Arkansas in particular, what you're starting to see is an outmigration of younger folks. We all know that back at a time when we were more agricultural or you were in the, in the timber industry or something of that sort, that a lot of families had extended family members involved in those jobs. With the mechanization, uh, with the modernization of things, you just don't have kids hanging around home they go elsewhere for their work, leaving behind an older population. So as you have the population aging, the number of problems are increasing, the workforce to take care of these folks, hey, face it, docs are getting old too. Uh, the, the, the typical age of a family doc out and around in, in the rural part of Arkansas, get rid of the top 10 cities to make a rural subset. I know from personal research that over 41% of the doctors that are out in the boonies are over the age of 60. At some point, we're all gonna be the patients, we're not gonna be the doctors. So we gotta figure out a way for those folks who stay behind because they choose to, because they wanna live on their land, be on their farm. We gotta figure out a way as the doctors and the providers are aging out to still provide good services back to those folks. Talk about um, some recruitment programs that would help uh, with maybe alleviate that situation. And one of those programs that Farm Bureau works with UAMS is the MASH program, which is for high school juniors and seniors to get a taste of what it's like to be in a medical field, and they do that with summer camps, two-week summer camps. How's that program been working? Well, as you know, Farm Bureau has been instrumental in sponsoring that program, and let me tell you, the MASH program has been incredibly successful. We take juniors, kids between junior and senior year of high school, and they're recruited into this program. They get experience in their local hospital, their local healthcare facilities, to get them interested in the possibilities of being a provider, not necessarily a doctor. It could be a nurse, it could be an EMT, it could be uh, a nurse anesthetist, it could, it could be uh, uh, someone who is a phlebotomist that draws blood at the hospital. So the jobs, there are a myriad of jobs in healthcare, and we want to expose those kids to those jobs through the MASH program. What's really neat now is that program has been in, in effect for 30 years, and this last year, we tracked it. We see that 30% of the entering medical school class had a MASH experience sometime before they showed up in school. That's a tremendous success for MASH. Dr. Mark Jansen, Associate Professor and Chief Medical Officer at UAMS, thank you for your time. You're welcome.